Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. How are ya? Welcome back to the vlogs. My bestie Lenny is here and my family friends from Switzerland are here. So we got some fun things going on and I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. Me and Lenny are about to go take a little IG pic. Uh, well, she takes a break from work. She's a working girl. I'm wearing my new skirt that I got at Savers. Let me show you. This like neck thing is like not the most comfy, but I still choose to wear it zipped and also be in my heels while Linda showers. But see what I mean when I said it matches perfectly? I mean, it's a different pink, but it's the same pattern. So this is a fun little, little fit. So yeah, the jacket and the skirt are both thrifted and these boots were last to go. Shower princess. <laughs> we're gonna film uh, taking outfit pictures in just a second. That's fun. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, those little earrings, aren't those kind of fun? Are they have on your ear? Are they have? What's <laughs> the house? <laughs> Did I just boots the house? Really good. Let's go. Normalize it. Normalize it. What's your big order, guys? Comment down below. Hey, vlog. Ow, ow, ow. I'm gonna tack clip and rip my hair out. This outfit actually couldn't be more disheveled. Hey, team. So, Lenny on her work break, or you're not even on the break. Linda just assisted in taking some. <laughs> She's on the clock. Um, Just helped me take some Instagram pictures. Uh, this brand sent me stuff before. It's the brand Menaces. They're a Brazilian brand. Very cool. And I wanted to shoot one of the pieces. Oh, I'll show you everything that they sent, actually. I'll show you the dress. It's my classic spot where I take my photos and self-timer. But it was a lot easier having Lenny's support. Look at this hat. This hat. Have I showed you guys this hat? Got this off of Etsy. I'll also link this if you guys are curious. Comes in every color combo ever. It's not a hollow hat, so it's very much just like, even though there are clips, it just kind of, you know, rather than kind of molding around the shape of your head. So, um, that's my only thing, but there's an option to do clip or elastic. But you can do either. It's not my boof, okay. Uh, a shite, no! The clay ball just fell off this ring. I'm going to change because, as you could assume, this is very uncomfortable. Like a high neck, high neck girly. Pinches on the sides with these like drawstrings, which is actually really cool and comfortable. And it's nice that you can adjust the the shape and stuff. But yeah, it's cute. It's got a cute color scheme. Tomorrow's our main main film day because we're gonna have a little shopping spree moment. We're going to go to Brooklyn, I believe. Maybe a couple other places, but I really need clothes for a couple things and I feel like that always happens and I've talked about this whenever I like need clothes for stuff I never find anything but whenever I don't need clothes I find things so I'm trying to manifest the opposite and see what happens but I need a dress for my boyfriend's graduation and I need a dress for my brother's graduation but I can kind of wear whatever I don't have really good like sun dresses that was kind of my issue you know all the dresses that I have are a bit more I don't know, dramatic or like shapey or, or dark, like better like for like a date night moment, not really. It's like they're nighttime dresses rather than daytime. So we'll see with that. Taking off my shirt in the most inconvenient way right now, but it is so uncomfortable and I wanna show you guys what the dress looks like without it. But yeah, I need dresses for those things and then I wanna get a couple fun things for my trip to Europe. I wanna try to find like some fun pieces that I'm excited to style while I'm there and just like see what's good with that. And then I'm also styling a shoot for the Hard Rock Hotel and I have to pull some things, so I'm gonna look for that as well. So this is the dress. So it has like drawstrings that you can like shift. Kind of fun. It's not like the most flattering, right? Depending on where the, the fabric falls because it can literally, look at that. It's very shapeable, but it's kind of fun in that way. You can look like kind of create your own ruching. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show you what else. Very quickly. 
Oh, wow. We could not be more backlit. These pants, which is one of their like classic silhouettes. They come in white as well. They're very fun. I like, I'm weird about pants. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these on. Um, Cause I don't like things that make my legs look wider. Sensing that this side thing will do that. Eh, they're not awful. Kind of cute, honestly surprised me. I mean, it could be cute with boots, but I'll, I'll show you the rest. This skirt, it's kind of asymmetrical and then has this like, went, went, went on the side, which could be cool. Definitely want to like style that all, all up layered and maximalist and kind of cool. So we'll see. And then this bag, which is cute. These shorts, which will be, I'll have to, I'll have to style them. They just remind me so much of, J. Crew, what were those shorts? Chicos? Chinos? Those J. Crew shorts that I would wear in my preppy phase in like middle school. So, but it's all the styling, you know? All about styling. This fun little blouse. Interesting. This, I believe, is a top. Kind of tied like an apron situation. I don't know. But yeah, that's the brain menace. It's, it's right here. Not sponsored at all, but. Wanted to shout them out because they're a cool small brand. We are going to go get some coffees and go lay in the park because it's really nice out. And we're figuring out what we're doing for the rest of the night. But here's my little, put on these pantaloons and then this like dress moment. This guy. Okay, let's go. Hey, happy Saturday. Um. We are currently, me and Linda are currently getting ready for the day. We are going to meet Till and Mia at their hotel and then we're all gonna go to Brooklyn and have a little thrift today. Lenny and I are down bad tired actually. We're just gonna push through. I just need to slick back my hair. I showered because whenever I like go out, out late, I like cannot get into my bed. I typically shower when I get back home after going out and um, uh, it's still like wet and it's so frizzy. It's like not cute. I try to like blow dry it like loosely at night, but It's not it. So I gotta slick my hair back. We're just gonna go kind of casual especially because I really need to try on and, and shop around and bop around so Maybe something that I can change in and out of We'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited This video is definitely a bit all over the place family friends from Switzerland are here Lenny's here. She's also friends, family friends with the family from Switzerland. That's telling me yes, Sabina, Christian, and they're absolutely fabulous. So we've been spending a bunch, a bunch of time with them and just hanging around. Wow, I look crazy, crazy girl. I need to actually get changed and then I actually butt chug coffee. You guys know me. I'm a granny girl. I don't really, I usually like go out one night on the weekend and that's kind of my like really late night. We haven't gone to bed earlier than 3 a.m. since Wednesday. And that is something I am not used to. What are the vibes today, you guys? What should I wear? <laughs> really don't know. This one's throwing me for a loop. I wanted to make Linda style me, but she's in the shower and we kind of have to go soon. So I don't know if that's, that's possible. I had a whole vision. Best friend styles me, vlog. Thrifting. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Hey team. Okay, this is just a little bit of style by Lynn. Um, this is the Anspo picture. I'll put it right here. And this is what we've created. These loafers are Steve Madden. Tube socks. I don't know where we get these Target. I don't know. Skirt thrifted. Top thrifted. Jacket thrifted. My aunts. I'll put the earring details below. <laughs> Live from the dressing room. 
I tried on these pants, I like them. They don't fit. Like kind of fun, kind of interesting, you know? And I like the color, I like the girl, but very tight. It's an R. I also had a vision for this. It's not really working. I also can't, can't zip it. But it's cute, like with really fun heels, big hair, cute bag. Could have been cute. No. you guys I'm going to do a little try on haul for you all and show you the things that I got this past weekend shopping I bought a couple things off of Depop just just fun little things excuse the appearance I'm about to go lay outside and edit this video actually once I film this last clip and this is just the state that we're we're rocking with didn't want to put on makeup or real clothing but yeah we did a big shopping day hit some of my favorite thrifts and I want to show you guys I want to show you guys what I got. I knew I needed a new pair of jeans like actually so bad I don't have jeans. I like only have two pairs of jeans and I never ever ever wear jeans So I needed a new pair. I needed a pair that I liked. I needed one with a good wash But every time I walk into a thrift store, I that is the last thing I want to look through It's always the jeans. It's just I'm scared of the jean rack I used to work in a consignment shop and that was like the worst rack to sort through and clean It's just it always is at every thrift store no matter where I am if it's a Goodwill, a Salvation Army, a Savers, or if it's like a, you know, a curated one. I just, I never really want to dig through that, but it's always the pieces that I kind of need, but therefore that's why we don't have them. So um, my friend Linda actually found the pair that I'm going to show you guys. They're Levi's, which is fabulous. I like a light wash denim. I just, for me, that's what I enjoy. I love it. I love a dark wash on other people. I love a dark wash too when it's like Maybe a little bit more of a tailored jean and you got like a, it's like a set or something. I don't know. But for your everyday, like throw on a graphic tee, run to the farmer's market, run errands, whatever. I like a light wash. So that's what we got. They're just your average kind of Levi. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. They don't have any rips or like um, distressing. I don't know why I can't think of the word, but Basically my favorite pair of jeans that I own right now because I've worn them so much and they did come like a little bit ripped in some places. They're actually like deteriorating. Like they literally are breaking at the seams and I can't keep wearing them at least as much as I would like any other summer. So I did a new pair and I'm very excited about these. These were 45, which I think isn't too bad for um, a pair of Levi's. They get so overpriced sometimes. It's actually crazy depending on where you go to buy them. So I was happy about that. And I got these at a woke vintage. They had a really good amount of like Levi jeans and, and denim in general. I went to the one in Brooklyn and Greenpoint. I think there's another one in, in Brooklyn, maybe in Williamsburg, but um, that's the one that I was at and they had a lot, of, a lot of denim. I got two other denim pieces, which I may as well just show you because we're on the topic. These Linda also found for me because she's a queen. These are a bit more of a medium wash, but they're your kind of long jort. They hit me a little bit lower waist. I think they're really cute. I have another pair of shorts that are basically the same kind of like fit and cut, but mine are really light wash and I wanted something a little bit different and just to have another pair so I'm not always needing to like wash the one pair of jean shorts that I wear. So yeah, these are cute. They're also Levi's. So this was solid. These were, I think like nine bucks, 10 bucks. And these were at Urban Jungle. This is my favorite denim moment because I don't know. I just feel like I've been looking at skirts. I've just been, it's weird. I was deep hopping like a lot the past couple of nights because I want to find some fun statement things for my trip to Europe. And I just, I don't want to like splurge on some crazy 
designer pieces or brands that I'm loving because the brands that I do like for some reason I just girls got expensive taste if I'm not thrifting and shopping like consignment or secondhand all the things that I'm fucking with are like actually so expensive so I'm not trying to get into that I want a fancy club dress so bad to like go out one night or do like a date night moment so I've been trying to find a dress a fancy club similar kind of alternative or like a mirror palais their new collection like this dress i wanted to find something kind of similar that would evoke these same kind of vibes um so therefore i was looking up a lot of like y2k dresses asymmetrical like flowy halter dresses cute 2000s kind of going out pieces so right outside of tired thrift and awoke vintage on the weekends there's often like a bunch of different sellers that just have racks and sell in that kind of like little area i filmed a couple clips but i've been to that a bunch and often like i find a lot more out in that kind of like flea area than i do in those couple stores I, we didn't end up going to tired thrift i love tired thrift uh so i definitely want to go before i leave for my trip to see if they have anything they do awesome closet sales on their instagram stories they actually have one going on right now but that is super helpful because you see the pieces on it's just it's fun you like don't anticipate shopping and then you're like going through your instagram stories and you're like oh now i'm shopping and these pieces are adorable but this skirt i got at one of the sellers of the flea market kind of outside those shops and it is a denim skirt it fits low waist and has that kind of like 2000s energy when you're wearing like the low waist asymmetrical skirt crop top like i love the bottom of this i want dresses that like fringe down like that like so bad i just think that's such a cute going out look like in barcelona i'm just like i i need that energy haven't really found like a dress just yet but i'm very happy about this skirt and i think i want to do some really fun like layering looks with it it reminded me of ronnie hart's kind of bimbo renaissance styling like very much styled up kind of like one of those looks it was like 28 dollars, or no it was 24 dollars, and i was expecting it to be more just because it was just kind of a very like unique piece but it's so cool and it's from the brand pretty jeans the tag came on it and very much like a style up style down type of piece and then then come the skirts you guys know i've become a skirt girl very much this like fall winter so it's definitely carrying on in the spring i'm a tutu girl as well found this white one in urban jungle as well this was a bit more expensive than i expected it was 25 but i found that it was such a good full skirt the other ones that i found there was like a blue one and like a tan one and those were very like they looked like wilted flowers you know they weren't very like full and this one was bouncy and I think this on its own this under another mini skirt i don't know i think it's super fun and it's super comfy i just washed all this stuff and it had a couple stains and i got them out then i got this skirt that i think is so gorgeous and pretty and I really want to wear it with this corset that I just got on Depop that I'll show you guys in just a second. I think it's gonna be such a fun look. I love how full it is. I love the layers. I just think it's so cute. And the red piping is, is fabulous. I think it's gonna be made with a red lip. And this corset right here, got this on Depop. I think it's so stunning. This was also like 20 bucks. And I cannot wait to wear it. So super psyched about that I had another idea though to style this corset with like oh my god y'all are gonna hate me for this american apparel remember the disco pants they made them in short form as well and this is like the exact material that they were in like the shiny white so i was gonna get like the white shorts or the pants and make like a full like sleek look you know like kind of evoking sandy and grease her outfit was black this would be white make it western and kind of absurd so that's also a possibility. What is like American Apparel's new name again? Los Angeles Apparel? I think that's it. I was looking. I think they still sell them, but like only in a select few of colors. So I think some people on Depop had it. I don't know, we'll see. I also think a cute like red booty short, make it casual like that would be also very cute. So we'll see what I end up doing with that corset, but I think those pieces go great together as well. I actually, I'll show you my other Depop piece. I literally, I'm so funny. I like, I'm like, I need to buy pieces that I love and like practical pieces. Like if I'm spending money and buying more and consuming more, like it should be pieces that I love and I'm going to get a lot of use out of. And then I buy this and then I'm like, girl, who's driving the boat? Because it's not, I don't understand, but again, a good price point. And you guys know, like I will probably wear this a lot, weirdly enough. I think it's fabulous. It's basically just a sequin British flag bra. And I'm definitely gonna wear it out when I'm in London. I actually have to, it's like a duty. I got this, this was also at Urban Jungle. This cute, I love this green color. It's like a 
really nice Kelly green little like cover up is how I'm gonna wear it. I think it's so cute. You can put little pantaloons under it. I think over a bathing suit would be really cute. So comfy and this is like $6. So I thought it was a cute new summer piece. Are y'all ready for the main event? Because I, I literally couldn't believe that these were right in front of me when I found them. These were at Urban Jungle, but the location next door. So it's, is that one also called Urban Jungle? I feel like I never actually known the name, but it's basically the location right next to Urban Jungle where it seems as though they've grabbed more of like the trendier pieces, the brands, the known brands, the like better quality pieces, whatever, and put them into that other location. The prices are a bit more because of that, but it's a bit more curated. So if you like that kind of vibe or if you have a friend that doesn't like digging through thrift store, that's a perfect place to, to have them go while you <laughs> sort through the, the urban jungle, um, big, big, big location, which they even expanded. These shoes were in the more like curated space and we were just bopping around there. I saw them and I literally was like, oh, they were in the men's section. I have big feet, thankfully, so we're gonna make them work. But um, these are literally all over my Depop. Like I've liked these shoes and save them a million times. They're never in my size. Um, I'm literally obsessed. So, yes, they're maybe not spring, summer, but they are my all year round, girl. Like, I, I can't believe I found these. So how'd you get them? 50 bucks. Not as bad as I thought they would be. Whoa. A little Union Jack moment. I can't wait. Oh, keep bringing up Depop and the British flag while we're on the subject. Just look at these shoes. Can you guys just look at them? <sighs> this one hurt when I found out they were my size. I mean, they were already sold, but I still saved them just to tell my Depop DNA girl to be like, find these shoes in a size nine under $100, put them in my suggested post and I will snatch those up immediately. So yeah, that's pretty much the haul. That is what I got. It was a very successful trip in my eyes. I'm very happy with the denim basics I got and the fun statement pieces I have. I can't wait to style them. And I found that most of the prices were pretty reasonable. So so yeah, quite a successful thrift trip. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this little thrift with me vlog moment. Next weekend, Kieran, my boyfriend is coming to stay with me and I think we might do another My Boyfriend Styles Me video because you guys seem to really like that and I have so much fun doing it. Yeah, I think we might do that and that'll be fun and maybe he'll style some of these new pieces. I'll like put them out there as an option. I appreciate you watching and supporting. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I style those pieces. And yeah, I appreciate y'all so much and I hope you're having a great day, night, evening, whatever it is. You guys know the drill. Yeah, love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye cute people.